going, baby. Chibs has dropped today an EP called Pentagon off the Disciple Roundtable label. I love that label. They crank out some of the best rhythm in the world. I'm on my second cup of Joe Jonas. Let's get jiggy with it. First song, Pentagon. I'm fucking stoked! Honestly, I'm pumped! I'm pumped. I'm fucking stoked. His style, his sound design, very meticulously crafted. Shit, I swear to God. Pentagon. Evolving, but still maintaining like this core sound within the song. You know what I mean? Like it takes branches off, but it's still part of this giant trunk of sound. And he's got such long verses, chorus, long choruses. Thing. Next track, Vampire Song. I saw the title of this and I was like, ooh, ooh. You know what? I like that band, Vampire Weekend. I do. It's a good band. Remember that meme? It's like, <laughs> everybody fucking has that song A track, or it was like, you either have the song A track by Vampire Weekend or fucking ADHD by Kendrick Lamar at the top of your library. And people were like, yup. Yep. Thank <laughs> you. 
That's nice. Definitely some like arcadey sounds. God, man. This song just keeps fucking going. I'm pretty excited for this one. Second drop. I'm a second drop kind of guy, personally. Personally. Do you with the second drop? And you're like, bro, you can now do me. And you're like, yeah. This is that type of music. I swear, man. If a motherfucker look at me funny after listening to this shit. Man, fuck, honestly, we need to 
be having like the rap game fucking this kind of shit. They're beats, bro. They're boring as fuck. Their songs ain't that flavor, man. That zest. This is what gets the people going. Ooh, that little. at work and I'll ask them like we'll like we'll kind of go on our own like we'll be cleaning right at the store closes and we go do our own duties but music's playing overhead and I'll ask them like hey like I'll, I'll check in with them like 30 minutes later how'd you feel how did, did those did you have any cool thoughts you kind of get lost inside your head with that music huh and they're like yeah honestly it's kind of cool I was like dude I always like catch myself like in some gnarly ass rabbit hole inside my own brain I'm like oh this, these sounds provoke such interesting things. When you don't have like lyrics overhead constantly boggling your brain with ideas that you really can't relate to, like who the fuck can relate to? Like most of these hip hop artists, bro. Like 90% of these hip hop artists are unrelatable. They've done, they've had a life and done shit that you can relate to. At least with EDM, it's just, we're just here to dance and have a good time. Here's some deep ass fucking sob story or how the fuck you came up and you're so fucking rich. And that ain't it. The focus here is not idolizing the artists, but idolizing the sounds they make, really. And just... Are we having a house trap right now? What the fuck? Shit, sorry, I just went on like a crazy rant. Honestly, 10 out of 10 on that EP. 
I'm a huge fan of EPs, you know? Albums are great, don't get me wrong, but something about just like this small little slice of artistry, it's a nice like, it's a bite-sized vision, you know? It's not too broad, you don't get too lost in it. I like it. That was sick, bro. Pentagon EP, Chips, from Disciple Roundtable. Check that shit out. Yo, wow. 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 Fucking A. It's hot as fuck in this bitch. Feels like an actual rave. Bye, guys. I love you. I love you. But, uh, I'm gonna go on another rant. I try not to use the word rave, even though I just did. Super contradictory. But, there's just a lot of bad stigma that comes with the word rave. A lot of people just are like, oh man, place to fucking lose your shit and go ham. But no, there's still a concert quality to these things. Crowd etiquette, there's fucking adults, fucking grown ass adults working really hard to put these shows on. You know, behind the scenes, so much going on. And, yeah, honestly, Albuquerque has been fucking having some gnarly indoor shows. They even, like, Sullivan King stopped the show a couple weeks ago and was handing out water and stuff. Made it to EDM.com. Just kind of making our city not look the best. And, uh, yeah, our venue, I guess, ran out of water. And then I went to Liquid Stranger, and that shit was so fucking packed. It was ridiculous. Kind of took away from the experience. You guys know what I mean? So, I don't know, just stay safe out there. Stay fucking hydrated. Um, yeah, and just like go to these things to fucking. Sometimes just. just I hope you guys are going for the music. The music is the drug, truly. <sighs> Deuces. May the force be with you guys.